Yo guys, what's up? It's Flygon11 here, and I have another um, kind of update and opinion video. In this video, I'll be talking about Bonus XP Weekend. I'll be talking about my plans of getting Turmoil right now, and I'll also be talking about the new Elite Achievement Diaries. So I'm gonna start with the double XP or Bonus XP Weekend. My bad. Um, basically, I didn't do much, and um, I don't really know anybody who got any significant levels. Um, I did see on YouTube though quite a few um, notable people got some nice levels. I know uh, Trusty Turkey got 99 room crafting. Uh, congratulations to him. Um, a lot of other people got other stuff. <laughs> so um, what did I do? Uh, basically nothing. I wasn't planning on doing anything and at the time I had no cash. I just had Bandos, Claws, DFS, Fury, and Whip. And now I have none of that stuff except the Whip. Um, but yeah, so, long story short, I didn't do anything, I got, I hopped on, I bought a thousand PRS and got one runecrafting level, then I got a mining level, got 70 mining, and then I just planted trees and I logged off for the night. Now, I came back on at about noon on Saturday, and I checked my trees to find that the fruit trees aren't grown yet, so I'm like, alright, um, I just got a Skype message, um, my fruit trees haven't grown yet, because I know they take, you know, they can take a long time to grow, possibly. So I'm like, alright, that's fine. So, um, I log back off, because I'm like, I don't want to waste my multiplier, I want to get two times XP. So I log back out at, like, four, and they're still not grown. I'm like, damn. I'm like, I planted these at, like, six o'clock last night, they should be grown. Anyway, um, so I log off again, and then I come back on, finally I do a Sarah trip with, uh, my friend Philip, uh, and another friend, we did a trio. We got, like... 70 kills and we got a sword split so very happy about that and it's actually very crucial to my next point which I'm going to get to um, but in the end I wound up getting uh, my fruit trees done wound up getting like 1.7 times the experience for them or something like that and uh, so yeah and then I got 65 farming so uh, I didn't do much but um, one thing, one suggestion I do want to give to Jagex for the next time is don't put us on the spot as much. I think when we're banking or when we're sitting in a bank, we shouldn't be wasting our multiplier. I think once you do any task that gives you experience, any kind of experience, it will the time will start and it will go down by at least a minute, provided that's the only thing you do. So this way you can buy stuff from the GE without being pressured that you're on the spot and you need to do things really quickly. I think that will really just kind of take some of the stress off people for just like doing whatever the hell they want or whatever, what, I don't even know what I'm saying. But yeah, I think they should kind of change the the way the multiplier goes down because um, again, it's kind of, it's just so hard being like on the spot like that, you know, you're just, you're pressed for time. Anyway, my next point is turmoil. Uh, I am currently... 86 prayer and I finally built up enough money to buy turmoil uh, I tried like making five other videos explaining and all five of winded up me about me rambling on about how I saved up my money and shit so I'm just gonna say I finally got enough money and I'm able to keep a whip and a slayer helm and a little bit of cash which is really all I need so I'll be bank building after I get this I'll probably have this by like Sunday uh, at the rate I'm going I have it by like Sunday um, and yeah, once I have it, I'll just be PKing and uh, maybe use some Slayer, then eventually bosses and shit. Alright, and lastly, I want to talk about the Achievement Diaries, the Elite Achievement Diaries that came out, um, and the hard one for Lumbridge, Lumbridge's case. Um, so, the Achievement Diaries um, have been around for a while now, and um, just yesterday they came out with the elite versions. Now Ardong already or Ardenu Ardong Ar, Ar or whatever. Already already had the elite tasks, but they were like a hidden reward kind of thing. Because you weren't able to visibly see them unless you've already gotten to them. So now they've released it for all of them and uh, I looked at the rewards and they're definitely definitely great rewards for those who can uh, for those who can have the skills. Like I know you're gonna need probably all the basic 99s, you know, you need like 96 fishing, 95 cooking, um, fletching, you need really high fletching, you know, all the basic skills, and then you need like really high smithing for a few of them, 
um, and then rune crafting I know is one, but I'm just kind of going around. I need I know you need like 75 farming too. I mean you, you need a lot of really high stats, but if you can get it, it's definitely worth it. I'm gonna link you guys to a video made by um, King a Swan. He was the winner of Silent Core's Guide Competition, so I checked him out, and he's definitely a great guide maker. Pretty much, kind of, kind of my style actually. He's like updates and guides, and that's basically what I'm trying to go for here, and eventually PKing after I get this. Um, so yeah, he made a few videos about the new rewards because he was able to get them. So definitely check that out if you if you're interested in the rewards. I personally think though. I, I'm very curious to see the stats of the shield and the armor because I heard the Varrock armor has like the same stats as the Stadius chain body or something and I'm like wow that's that's pretty beast so I would definitely want to check that out like the Faldor shield and the Varrock armor I want to check that out uh, to see the bonuses um, and that's about it guys that pretty much wraps up this video thank you for watching um, if you'd like you can join my clan chat and you can comment on this video giving me your opinions on um, the bonus XP weekend and or the Elite Achievement Diaries. Or you can obviously congrat me on Turmoil. But that's about it guys. Um, thumbs up this video if you liked. Again, comment if you have opinions or comment if you liked it. And join my clan chat. And that's about it. So thanks for watching. Goodbye.